time defensive play to get the ball and not foul. Nine point advantage here for the Bucks. $215 million contract last year. Those are the kind of shots you expect from a guy when you give him that much. Giannis between the legs. Going through three Chicago Bulls defenders for that bucket. With a lot of contact. And holy cow, Coach Bud saying there's got to be something there. But either way, he's finishing. And Levine stops the clock with 133 left to play. Foul the Bucks, number 34, Giannis and that's number five on Giannis. Well, the high pick and roll that we've seen so much. No true holiday. You should facilitate and handle, but what a great job going over the top of his defenders and still able to put a beautiful finger roll. Consistent across the board. You see his quarter scoring here tonight. averaging a point per minute on the season averages above that here tonight 43 points in his 36 minutes of play talk about the minute and a half Milwaukee losing their last three games they've come out and played with the heart that you'd expect Williams defending mid post range here for Giannis turns his back flips it over to Grayson left the short but Bobby chases it down Second opportunity as Giannis checks the shot clock. Nine now to shoot. Giannis wants to take it. Closed off. Finds Grayson once again. Hey. Trying to close the door. Got to hunker down. Got to put you down. Jump down to play some serious defense here. And Patrick Williams knocks it down. In a clutch situation now in this game. It's a place where the Bulls have gotten that much better as of late. And the Bulls on a 9-2 run, but that's the man you want the ball in the hands of. Giannis dribbling it down to seven seconds on the shot clock. Gets the screen from Bobby. Over to Grayson. Spin move. Grayson looking for it. Giannis pulls and fires off the rim. Inside 20 seconds left to play. Levine, the Bucks with a four-point advantage. Game. What a comeback for Chicago. It seemed secure for Milwaukee. You got to give Chicago credit the way they fought, making plays happen. Milwaukee missed some shots. The largest lead for the Bucs has been 15, and the Bulls have worked and whittled this lead back down to two. I mentioned that the Bulls have been that much better in terms of clutch wins. And you look at this last bucket here to cut it to two. Just on selfishness, and honestly, the way you've seen Milwaukee play on selfish, Giannis moving the ball, has allowed... Chicago to get back in this score in these buckets because Milwaukee is missing some threes. Bucks up by 11 with just over two minutes. But you got DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine hitting fadeaways. The Bucks have done a good job on the other big three of theirs. Vucevic. But look at these clutch games this season, Lisa. Yeah, headed into the first meeting on November 23rd, the Bulls were 0 for 7. And, and since that meeting, 5 and 4, including some important games going part of the three game win streak at Atlanta a dramatic finish Ayo Desumu had the putback and then against the Knicks it was DeMar DeRozan hitting the go ahead bucket both of those games that was the man who had the ball in his hands in the final few seconds to take the final shot they have an interesting dynamic because obviously Zach Levine I think he thinks he's the go-to guy. DeMar DeRozan, he thinks he's the go-to guy. So it'll be interesting to see. Levine, there's no question. When you get a big contract like he did last year, you think you're the man. But DeMar DeRozan, I think when you think of the Bulls, like you said, he's the guy who's been taking those shots. The Sunmu got an air ball rebound for a game winner two games ago. Now the foul situation, the Bulls sitting on three team fouls here in this quarter. 
to stop the clock. Williams has tried to do that, and the clock stops at 11.1. had a foul to give. And now the next foul will put the Bucks in a bonus. Williams has picked up his fifth. 